industry. Do you see this being a, a permanent problem or is it something you think will just pass? Um, David, would you like to try to answer that? I have and then I'd like to, do to with it. Uh, but, uh, well, you know, the, the, I can only, you know, from my personal experience, I just, always, I just cringe whenever he mentions that he's Jewish. <laughs> it's like, because he did, he did, he says, and then, and then he said something, oh boy, I'm going to get after the NRA, and that only helps the NRA when Harvey Weinstein attacks them. Um, but, you know, it's just, you know, it's like when anybody's uh, uh, shot or anything, you just, you, you naturally say, I hope he's not, uh, the shooter isn't Jewish. Uh, that's just my personal thing. I've always been that way. Uh, so in this case, the, the, he's a monster. And, uh, of course, you know, I worked with him, not, not very much, but I, I, I mainly worked with Bob Weinstein. Uh, but uh, a lot of people evidently knew about all this stuff, and but but it's that that's neither here nor there. It's just I I, I don't know how much it just doesn't seem like people identify him with being Jewish. I'm sure you know he wasn't in shul every night. Is it is uh, is so. is the, the client you were talking about? Is that is that uh, somebody in sympathy with uh, with Weinstein? No, no. no. No, I, I think I, I well, I think I, it's interesting. I think um, I, 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 you know, like many people in the room, I cringe when someone's convicted of a financial crime and they turn out to be Jewish. I cringed certainly, as we all did, when Bernie Madoff's crimes were revealed, or when Mike Milken's crimes were revealed, or when Ivan Bosky's crimes were revealed, and and yet, you know, unfortunately, just like with anyone else. You know, we live in a country where not getting caught in a lie seems to be the same as telling the truth, and and more so these days than ever. And 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 you know, you know, some of these people survive their crimes and remain wealthy, and we put their names on buildings and we honor them at, with events or we attend their events. I mean, I would advocate a boycott of all sorts of things if I had <laughs> the ability to do so, you know, and I do personally boycott all sorts of things, but, you know, um, you know, it's a... Okay. I, I think it's now time to wrap up this, uh, this panel, and I want to just end it by telling you there's two ways that you can make a difference. Uh, number one, please visit uh, my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com com forward slash liberate art and there you'll be able to stay abreast of what's going on and you will provide you with the means in which to get personally active um, the second thing is and this is the most important of all this has been an israel bonds event israel bonds is crucial uh, to g giving israel strength Israel Bonds builds the infrastructure and technology centers that create one out of every four of the medicines, treatments, and technologies in use today. Israel Bonds provides a safe haven for Jews for all over the world. If you, when you buy an Israel Bond, you are making a declaration of support for Israel's path, purpose, and accomplishments and you are rejecting BDS claims, proposals, and objectives. So Israel is at under attack from all directions. We can all help make Israel strong by purchasing an Israel bond today. And let me tell you how it's done. When you arrived, each of you have uh, a program